what's up? So it's time for another vlog. Today is Jamaica Rum Festival. It'll be at Hope Garden and that's where I'm heading today. About to have a good time learning about rum, the different brands, the different processes, tasting rums, enjoying entertainment, the whole work, and you'll be there to see it with me. So, stay tuned! So, we are here. That's Hope Garden. Have a look. types of cans for those who may not know this is what the rums are made from this fruit right here and on entry they prepared slices of the can for sampling <music> It's like a little history room, so it shows some of the culture, you know, how rums are made, what they are stored in, um, various brands of rums, as well as the tools and equipment used for the rum making process. So we have here a bagasse. These are byproducts of the cane. It's like the trash that can also be used to make furniture. Another byproduct from the cane is molasses. This can be used for baking, cooking, and other stuff, and wet sugar. Okay guys, so it's pretty early, I guess. There are people here, the place is not too crowded right now, which I prefer it that way. Not This was one of the cool booths where they had uh, dominoes. You could play dominoes. I'm not sure if it, they were having a competition or it was just for leisure. But they had dominoes, then you could have a drink. <music> I know I ran over these boots pretty quickly because I just wanted to show you what the era looked like but they were serving little cocktails slushy cocktails which were delicious by the way and you know just a little history on their rum making process and where they're from how they originated etc here we have Tortuga they are well known for their rum cakes and they also produce rums as well. I believe Tortuga is from another country. I don't think it's a Jamaican brand, but it's very popular in Jamaica.
Imagine if you'd made it in Jamaica. They would have went, run! <laughs> or even that with a bump. Imagine, that would have been history. You would have seen all these English guys going, whoa, this is a nice bomber. I mean, <laughs> just imagine if it was made in Jamaica. I always, always wondered. So yes, Mai Tai, Aurora, five ingredients, but the main ingredients is the J Jamaica Ray Nippy 70 year old. It gives it flavor, complexity, some body inside there. So during this session here, unfortunately, I don't remember this guy's name, but he's a mixologist. He's Jamaican, but obviously based on his accent, you can tell he travels a lot or lives elsewhere. He was just, you know, informing us about the different cocktails, how they originated, you know, why they pair these ingredients with each other, and etc, etc, et you know, the whole works. This is my cup of tea right here. The punch itself is not a Jamaican thing, although we like to claim it. It's actually, the word is actually Hindi. Hindi. They want to speak Hindi here. No one speaks Hindi. This guy right here has a real sense of humor. He made the class really fun because we had a lot of jokes. <laughs> so now the word five in Hindi is punch. Punch. And the original punch from India had five ingredients. It had a, a spirit, it had lemon, it had spice, it had sugar, and it had water. Five ingredients out of the punch, and that came over to England, England, where they were drinking punches in punch houses, and of course some of the English when they came and wrecked and pitched this land. And then it started to rain, but that didn't stop or dampen anyone's mood because the show must go on. Now, if you look on the key, you see a little um, golden looking bar that located, say, limestone rich area. Keep that in your mind and you'll see why it is important later on. One of the beauties about Appleton Estate is that we have a story to tell. We have genuine provenance. A lot of the other rum producers make up stories because they really don't have anything to talk about. But we are located in the heart of Jamaica in this beautiful location where you have karst hills which are made of limestone and you actually have water flowing through those hills in membranes coming from Trelawney all the way over to St. Elizabeth. Now those hills surround that beautiful valley which is known as the Nassau Valley and what you see in that valley is sugarcane. We grow over 4,000 hectares of sugarcane. How many persons have been to Appleton Estate? Oh good. So you know that beautiful look when you come down the hill. It looks like paradise, doesn't it? Yes. You can't believe that there is a part of Jamaica that really looks like that. yellow in color. We have another variety that is stratified. So you have purple with green. So this is another variety. Can anyone say what they notice about our sugarcane in comparison to the sugarcane that you buy on the road and eat? Darker. It's much smaller, right? So it's smaller, it is tougher, and I mean, if you try to eat it, it's very tough, but the people in the sugarcane belt actually chew this and eat it, and that's why their teeth are so strong. But if you don't have strong teeth, try not to go in the cane field and cut the cane and eat it. Because a completely different variety from what you buy when you go for sugarcane and get the sugarcane cut up in the bags.
enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to be a part of the Nicolina Diamo family. Thank you! Bye! <laughs>